it's time for another amazing code snippet. I've got over here three images that are all PNG that I've gone and created on Canva. We've got a one megabyte image, a three megabyte, and another three megabyte image. They're all 1920 by 1080. Now, what if I was to give you a snippet that would actually convert them into WebP the moment you load them onto your media library? And that's literally what it is. Mark Harris, thanks again for pulling together this code snippet. The link is in the video description. Go and give your appreciation to Mr. Mark Harris, what you got to do is add it in, save changes, and then activate. Now, I do want to make one thing very clear, though. If your server does not allow GD or Magic, and you might need to go and check with your host provider, this won't work for you, okay? And you're probably going to have this issue if you were to add any WebP conversion plugins. If you have ever added one, and it said, hey, you don't have the rights for Magic or GD is missing, Go and speak to your host provider, okay? There's not much I can do about that. Also, I still recommend using bulkresizephotos.com because I do want to make clear this will convert images you add to your media library. If you've got any existing images, they won't change and they won't update. They're going to stay as they are in your media library. One day, we might be able to take this code snippet further. If anyone wants to have a look at the code and refine it, please be our guest. But right now, we've got three images, one megabyte, three megabyte and three megabyte. I'm going to add those three images again and we'll see what happens. So here they are. I'm about to drop them and boom, boom, boom. So there they go, right? They're the three images. We got one megabyte, three and three, or oh, that's what they were. Now let's go and see what the sizes are. That is now 46 kilobytes. Remember, it was one megabyte. That was three megabytes and it's now 160. That was also three megabytes and it's 111. Okay, still 190 by 1080. And look at it, it is WebP format. You don't believe me? Look over here, it says .webp. It's converted them. And when I go over to my file manager in SiteGround, the PNG image is not even present in there. Okay, so whether it was a PNG or a JPEG, it doesn't really matter. It's not present in my file manager. Yes, the original one over here that I added in before I activated the snippet, that is still in my file manager. But the one I added in here, that's not there. All that remains in my file manager is the WebP one. So for existing images, they're going to stay as they are. Obviously, you would convert them using maybe another plugin or bulkresizephotos.com. But any other images you now add over here are going to convert into WebP format. Big, big code snippet game changer. This is in my opinion, and it is literally just a code snippet. Hey, Mark, many thanks. I'm Imran Web Squadron. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life.